Alright fellow YouTubers, this is a quick review of the Gold Hyper Master version of Master Gundam. This Gundam was awesome. They never made figures on a shuffle lines, which was part of his group was supposed to be till he turned evil. But it to me is very awesome. This Gundam is magnificent. Uh when I say uh G Gundam is what opened me up to anime, it really was. Like it had to be the most mind-blowing thing for any of us American people to see something so awesome for the first time. And I was hooked on anime since, and then, you know, got into the rest of them. Except for Dragon Ball Z. I think I watched that before, but G Gundam is what got me into the Gundams. I even have this little buddy here. His uh, little horse. That was also awesome that he used to ride, but now it's rode by the Burning Gundam who jacked it from him. But anyway, the Master Gundam, you could take his wings off. Well, you could. Yeah, well, they're in there pretty good. But he had wings, you could take them off. And most of the other G Gundam little series had a little pod that went into the back for him. him. Nope, he doesn't need the pod, he has the wings. But as you can see, they did a magnificent job on the all gold when this came out. I remember for Christmas, I wanted all these. My sixth grade year. Oh, that was a long time ago. The arms been at the elbows. They came with four or five different hands, but this one was the chop hand which you know Master Gundam was known for and his notorious darkness finger completely different from the burning finger from burning Gundam arms could bend there at the joints and arms could go up here they were fully posable and the arms could come off and you could put them back on someone should have told my mom that for she thought I had broke my toys and she threw a lot of them away thanks a lot mom but uh... it's still an awesome figure and this one didn't come with it, but I have the horse. I got the horse. I actually got lucky. It was at a yard sale for 50 cents, and I bought it from this lady. She she kept call. She kept saying, "I know it can transform into a into a robot. It's one of those transformers, but uh, it's not. And uh, you know, oh, it's a way that you can get him to sit on this horse, and it would be awesome. And you know, you'd be like, "Wow, I'm blow. This is an awesome figure, but." Yeah, I have him and I have the horse. But he's just awesome to me. Like, well, I'm trying to get him to sit on the horse, but the review's not about the horse. It's about Master Gundam. He was just an awesome Gundam in the show. And I'm glad he went good at the end. Went out like a boss. But school of the undefeated of the East. But he is awesome, though. And they did an awesome job on the paint. It's not just like one coat of paint. It's a couple. One looks like it's a little browner. One's a little lighter. One's a little tint. Like, just the whole thing. It's an awesome figure. And they really got really good detail in how this Gundam was so distinguished from the rest of them. He was awesome. So, Hyper Mode Master Gundam. I would recommend him for anyone that is a true Gundam fan. Or at least a G Gundam fan. You will love it. Thank me later. But this Gundam is awesome, and they put a lot of detail into the face of me because it still is like it still is green where his uh, face is supposed to be. If I can get it to focus for you, focus, focus. Well, you might get doesn't know how to focus now. Oh, there it goes. But he, they did pretty good with the face. But he was awesome, and I recommend him to anyone. And this is a real quick review on the. Master Gum like Gundam. Oh, and this is not one of those freaking model kits I can't paint worth nothing. If you haven't noticed, this is the MSIA. Made from that good type of plastic that is very durable. They are still my favorite. And I have I'm gonna do a review on one of them from Robot Spirits too. But this one was the best. So there's a quick review on Master Gundam.